Welcome back. Pramukh Swami Opticals, distributors of international brands in eyewear, launched some world-class optical eyewear at an event held recently. Glamorous models walked up the ramp showcasing international brands like Trusadi, Rodenstock, Laura Biagotti, Ungaro, Exte, Blue Marine, John Richmond, Gianfranco Fair and many more. Speaking of the gala occasion, Mr. Harish Muradi highlighted the trends in the Indian eyewear market. Indian market is very growing market, upcoming market. At the moment, comparing to any European market, it is comparatively less awareness for the brand, less awareness for the luxurious eyewear. But although it is a very, very growing market, growing with 25% uh, every year. The launch was followed by a fashion show. Top models who rocked the ramp were MTV's supermodel Sheetal Malhar, Miss World 2004 Sindura Ghare and Miss India Earth 2005 Niharika Singh. Speaking to the media, Ms. Agnes Dutel, the French representative of Faconable, said, This is for us something very important as India is a major key on markets. Indian market is connected to all the parts of the world, the Middle East, the United States, the Hong Kong market. A new market for us is quite important as an image. Last Saturday saw an evening of great celebrations. A book showcasing the art of Mario Miranda, India's most prolific cartoonist, was released at the Heritage Old GMC Complex. The release function was witnessed by various eminent personalities, along with fans and admirers of Mario Miranda. The book was released at the hands of Mr. Polycarp Vaz, an old friend of Mario the Miranda. Speaking on the occasion, cartoonist Mario Miranda, who seemed like a man of few words, thanked Gerard de Kuna for having put together the entire book. Thank you, Gerard. It's been a great pleasure working with Gerard. And uh, I'm still lost to hear this talk. But uh, this is, of course, a great moment for me to see Briefing media persons, Mr. Dakuna said that this is amongst one of the biggest book releases in India. This is the uh, maybe the biggest book launch uh, India has had of such a crowd. In book launches, you normally don't get so many people. And uh, the simple reason is that there have been so many people who have bought this book in advance. And they've all come to collect it. It is also uh, probably the biggest print run in Indian publishing of a book of this kind. We have, uh, I have, in, we have invested a lot of money and printed 15,000 books, which is, which is a lot, which is more than I think any other print run. Simultaneously, not far away at the Color Academy complex, Jason and Sylvia, the talented and well-known dancing couple of Goa, along with their students, presented a fascinating evening of dance and fashion called Unison 2008. It was the fusion of talent of the abled and differently abled children. The dance show showcased children from two different worlds come together on one platform to showcase not just their talent, but their confidence, personality, intellect and their ability beyond their disability.
especially able children from seven schools participated in the event. They not only danced to the various tunes of Konkani folk songs and Portuguese songs, but even walked the ramp and gave some stunning vocal performances. This is the third year that Jason and Sylvia are organizing the show. Speaking to Goa 365, the dancing duo of Goa told us more. The program is uh, Unison, uh, as it is titled, it's an union of two types of uh, children, the normal and the special kids. And we're trying to put them together on one platform and show that there is acceptance and there is no discrimination between the two children. That's all we have for you today. Before we end, here is a reminder of the headlines. Law enforcers turn lawbreakers. All Goa Pre-Employment Trainees Association demand parity in pay scale. State Election Commission begins issuing voters' photo ID cards. Deputy Speaker Morvin Gudino reviews developmental works in Kortali constituency. Ravindra Bhavan inaugurated at Margao. We'll be back tomorrow with more news and analysis for you. Until then, it's goodbye and good night.